Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our budget interesting commanders looking at the EDH rec uh, budget. And again, $2 and under when I say budget, I mean. And uh, we're looking at the discard theme this time. So discard is actually one I've been wanting to do for a while. I've been cobbling together a Tiny Bones discard deck for just probably over a year now. I should just actually do it. I've got a whole bundle box full of cards that I want to put into it. So that's like 600 cards into a 100 card deck that doesn't include... The lands are not included in that, so I'm rambling. So I'll just get started here. The discard theme. Forcing opponents discard is one of the most powerful mechanics in the game. It really is. Basically what you're doing is you're taking away their options. They can't put their strategy into play. They can't respond to what you're doing if they don't have cards in hand, right? There's also a lot of ways to punish them for not having cards as well or discarding, uh, like lose two life and just discard and things like that. So you can really build off of that very easily. And the last thing I want to note is that discard is a black mechanic. It's very much like mono black, like Tiny Bones is mono black. He's a great discard commander. That's part of why I keep meaning to do him, but anyway. Please hit like and subscribe. That really does help so much. Um, yeah, it would be great if you did. Okay, in the 99, first of all, Bandit's Talent. I meant to order some of these and I didn't do it. Ah. Uh, so for one and a black, it is an enchantment, a class enchantment. I do like the class ones. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, each opponent uh, discards two cards unless they discard a non-land card. Probably just discard one, right? Um, it's an interesting little addendum there. Like, if they have two lands, they have to both be gone, I guess. Um, interesting. Anyway. Remember, this level up thing, you can only do as a sorcery, okay? You cannot do it at instant speed. So if it's not your turn, and you're like saving up mana or something when it's not your turn, you don't get to like surprise people and just do with that last minute. Um, for one black level up to level two, at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if that player has one or fewer cards in hand, they lose two life. That right there is why I really want it for the tiny bones. Like once you get, once they're out of like cards in hand, even before they draw, they're gonna lose two life. Um, and then yeah, level three for a three and a black. At the beginning of your draw step, draw an additional card for each opponent who has one or fewer cards in hand. So you're turning them losing their cards into you having extra, which is um, just salt on the wounds. I like that. Um, anyway, 25 cents for that. Greer Reach, Greer, Greer, Reach Sanitarium, a legendary land. You can tap for one colorless. Sometimes the one colorless does matter. If a card actually shows colorless in the casting cost, you do have to pay the one colorless. So that can be useful. And pay two and tap. Each player draws a card, then discards a card. So you're kind of giving everyone rummaging, but if you have things that proc off of people discarding, you can force them to like take damage to have all kinds of negative effects. So that really does pay off. 125, I think this is a card that was more expensive at one point. Maybe I'm wrong. And finally, Megrim for two and a black. And whenever an opponent discards a card, Megrim deals two damage to that player. So once again, if Megrim's up, and you activate Greer Reach, Sanitar Reach Sanitarium, whatever. Um, they're going, everyone's taking two damage except for you. They do get to like rummage though. So anyway, 50 cents for that. Okay, let's get into the top five. All right, and um, yeah, here we go. I'm a little tilted. My uh, program is giving me trouble. If you have AC Power Rack, maybe you know what I'm talking about. It's a screen recorder that never gave me trouble for like three years. And then I updated it because it said I should update. And now it, uh, if I don't reinstall it every like month, it just starts crashing nonstop. But I have my Twinnings tea, so that makes everything okay. 
Not a sponsor, but anyway. Number five. Uh, Toulouse Clever Conductor. Okay, so this is an Esper Commander costing 3 CMC and uh, she's in 654 decks. So uh, a 1-3 three for 3. Not great, right? But let's see. So when she enters the battlefield, it can, or yeah, it connives. Um, basically, so you're going to look at your, yeah, discard a card then, uh, sorry, draw a card and then discard a card. If you discard a non-land card, put a plus one, plus one counter on this creature. So she allows you to discard right away. And by discarding, she can get a counter on herself, which can be very useful for any kind of proliferate shenanigans. Um, anyway, whenever you discard one or more cards, exile them from your graveyard. So including the one you discard right away, you're going to exile it from your graveyard. And when... Uh, to lose dies, put exile, cards exiled with it into their owner's hands. So everything you discard is just like turning into card draw. It's going straight to your hand at, when she dies, okay? Um, yeah, anyway, yeah, she, the fact that she comes with knife and has a discard is just huge. Um, that plus one plus one is actually like, you can do so much with that. Um, Controlling how and when she dies allows you to take ma maximum advantage of this mechanic. So really you want to be able to like have her die and go straight back to the battlefield or something like that, right? So yeah, she does have to die, not just leave the battlefield though. That's the tricky bit. But anyway, 25 cents. So here we go, Starfall Invocation. Three white white, so it's kind of high. It's a board white. A five mana uh, board wipe is a bit high, but you can gift a card. I love gift a card, okay? Especially on a board wipe, that's like extra, extra good, okay? Whoever is the farthest behind, give them a card and then even the playing field. You kind of like double evening things. So yeah, you're d or double balancing things, right? You're balancing out the board by uh, wiping out everything and then you're giving that player that's behind a little uh, nudge in the or a nudge advantage i don't know how to say nudge advantage but anyway okay so let's actually read it though so gift a card every time definitely destroy all creatures if the gift was promised do that return to a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield uh under your control uh so yeah you're gonna blow her up basically and as soon as she gets blown up she's gonna return her straight to the battlefield because you gave someone that card right because you're a really nice person anyway 95 cents next up unearth i love this card in like any black deck but here it's extra amusing okay for one black return to preach card with mana value three or less from your gra graveyard to your the battlefield remember you're still playing right you're still, uh, you're still actually using, you're losing things by them dying. You're not only losing things to discard. So her discard ability is only for discard. Anything that dies in battle or anything is still going to do this. Also, you could use this to bring her back. If she gets knocked into the graveyard, great. Let her go to the graveyard and then use this to fish her back out without having to pay the extra commander tax. Um... This is double good also because it has cycling. So you pay the two mana, you discard this, you get to draw another card, and when you discard that, it goes into exile, and then when she dies, it comes back to your hand. So you have a card in your hand that you can use to pull her straight back out of the graveyard again. So basically you've set it up so you can just keep doing this over and over. Um, it's a really nice little combo. Um, anyway. Yeah, I guess you can't really do it over and over. Uh, you could do the getting it back to your hand over and over. I don't mean you could fish her out over and over. I should be careful what I say. Anyway, 30 cents. Drake Haven, two and a blue for an enchantment. Whenever you cycle or discard a card, that's a big or. You may pay one. If you do, create a 2-2 two, two blue Drake creature token with flying. Flying tokens are just like dream blockers, right? If you've got this and you're discarding a good amount, it's just you're like 
blocking for the game sorted. That's uh, you've got evasion creatures that you can use to attack if you want. There's just so much you can do with that. It, it's very uh, flexible and just like gets really ha all your combat stuff is like done on one card and it synergizes with your commander. It's great. 33 cents. Number four. The Raven Man. I really like this. The art on this, I think, is maybe what really sells me on it. Anyway, one and a black for a 2 1. Mm. At the beginning of each end step, if a player discarded a card this turn, create a 1 1 black bird token with flying, and this creature can't block each. The main thing there is it says each, right? So if you force someone to discard, if you use an instant or an ability like his ability or whatever, you get to uh, you get to make your tokens. Again, flying tokens are just great. This it can't block, so there's a major downside. But you're just going to be uh, throwing these down pretty quickly. And for three to black and tap, each opponent discards a card. Activate only as a sorcery. So that's a kind of uh, if it doesn't have um, activate only as a sorcery, that'd be much better. But even on, again, on your turn, you can do this and force everyone to discard and save your, like, instance for other people's turns to force them to discard or other creature abilities force discard so you can keep making those ravens. In a commander game, that's four. Four one ones per round is a lot. Flying one ones, even if they can't block that, uh, you can do a lot. Um, I would think, like, quite a spike or something. Throw that on there and then just, like, start whittling away at everyone um and we 40 cents so necrogriff uh three black black maybe for a a question mark four and its power is equal to the number of creature cards in all graveyards all graveyards not yours not target player just all of them that can f be big quick right at the beginning of each player's upkeep each player including you that player discards a card. This is sounds like a downside. It's really not, as long as you're set up for it with things like Madness, which this also has. Madness 1-1, one, one, or one, oh, sorry, one black black, blah, blah. So yeah, if you discard him, you can cast him for his Madness cost of three. Three for uh, something four, that can just be massive. 25 cents only, oi. Fell uh, Spectre for three and a black is a one three flyer. Mm, that's not great, but let's see. Uh, when Fell Spectre enters the battlefield, target opponent discards a card. Only one. Eh, I wish I had a flash. Anyway, whenever an opponent discards a card, that player loses two life. So again, you're fo forcing your opponents to discard. You're making your uh. Ravens from that and they're gonna be taking two damage every time Pair this with like me grim and just every discard is like four damage Yo discards already mean adding damage is uh yay Lethal scheme, okay, so for two black black this has convoke so your feet your creatures can help uh, Cast the spell each creature you tap while casting the spell Pays for one or mana of a, this creature's color. Again, you're doing a mono black deck. Tap four black creatures. Cast this for free. You got four ravens because you made someone discard every turn for a round. There you go. That's this card paid for. Uh, Convoke is just crazy in mono decks. Uh, destroy target creature or planeswalker. Uh, each creature that convoked lethal scheme connives so you're going to also connive again that's you discard i guess you could discard up to four cards and then yeah if they're non-lands you get four plus one plus ones a great way to boost up your ravens and also be able to just keep discarding um just a all synergy 25 cents number three i gotta have some delicious twinnings tea Again, not a sponsor, I just love it. 
Uh, Asmo Renomardicard. Uh, yeah. I had a stroke like two years ago, or almost two years ago. I, I can't say that. Um, I think I managed to say it a couple times, like when this card first came out, but I definitely cannot anymore. That's way too many syllables and the consonant blends and things like that. So I, yeah, again, I'm gonna call, call her Asmo. She's in 953 decks. Casting cost is one, but you have to discard first. Before you can cast her at all, you need to discard, but then she's a 3-3 for one mana. Very good start. And when she enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a card named the Underworld Cookbook, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. So she tutors out uh, an artifact immediately. Um, it's an artifact that really works perfectly for her as well. So, you know, we sacrifice two foods, target creature deals six damage to itself. Basically, make two foods, removal. Every time you have two foods, you have got creature removal. There's not a whole lot of things that can take six damage and just like slough it off. Um, again, make four and then it has to take 12 damage, right? Uh, even dragons usually six is like topping out their toughness. So this is mostly removal. And then we 39 cents. Okay, the Underworld Cookbook, as mentioned. So she will tutor this out for one mana. It's an artifact. You can tap to discard a card, create a food token. Again, just madness, madness, madness. And yeah. And pay four, sacrifice it, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Can be very nice little setup thing. Not ideal, but you know what? Hey, it's there for an option. 35 cents. Next up is Witch's Oven for one mana also. Sacrifice a creature, create a food token. If the sacrificed creature's toughness was four or greater, create two food tokens. So yeah, if you can start making four fours or four four, like any kind of four four tokens, or even regular tokens that you boost up, hey, great. You're gonna every turn make two food, sacrifice two food, blow up a creature. Um, this is just a really easy little combo to set up. Not an infinite combo, but a combo. Uh, 125, I have one of those kicking around. I should really uh, use that card. Uh, Chainer Nightmare Adept 2 and Rakdos. Again, this is a Rakdos commander. I think I forgot to mention that. Discard a card. You may cast a creature spell from your graveyard this turn. Activate only once each turn. So again, you sacrifice something to a Witch's Oven. Go to the graveyard, discard anything you want, and you can cast it back out of the graveyard to sacrifice again and just keep setting up that, like, blowing up people's stuff thing. Just over and over and over. You can do it now, you can, it's gonna be able to make you four t um, food per turn because you can only use her ability once per turn. So you can do four food, which is pretty good, right? Anyway. Just from this, it'll be four food. I guess not every turn. It'll be four food the first turn, and then one food, or two food after that. But anyway. Still can be very, very good. 50 cents. Number two. Rael the Everwise. So she is in 1,725 decks. She is one, is it? Blue, red. So three casting costs for a zero, three. This is a weird one. Is it is not really a discard color. It's not bad because it has blue. Red is kind of okay at that too. Mostly it's black though, right? I feel like if this was the Grixis commander, it would be a lot stronger. But anyway, um, so she gets plus one for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. So that can add up pretty quick. Again, you want to do a spell slinger with her, right? And whenever you discard one or more cards for the first time, you may draw that many cards. So discard cards, especially some kind of wheel effect or something, you're going to be drawing extra. So yeah, if you discard four, draw four, that's discard four, draw eight. Um, really piles up. 115. 
Okay, so Stormcatch Mentor for a blue and a red, 1-1 one, one with haste and prowess. We like prowess on the, as in combination with this commander, right? Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. Yeah, not a bad little... Uh, I gotta order some of these. I haven't done that yet. There's another one I meant to order and didn't do it. And Turbulent Dreams for two blue. As an additional cost this spell, uh, discard X cards from your hand. Return X non-land permanents to their owner's hands. So again, you want to do something where you're like drawing a bunch of extra cards and then you're going to use this to just discard a whole bunch of cards and then someone else is going to have to like basically put a whole bunch of permanents back into their hand and then you can just like have a free shot at them which hopefully will take them out of the game. This is kind of like finisher slash win con kind of thing. Anyway, 88 cents only. And speaking of uh, that card draw, once again, yeah, you're going to discard X cards, you're going to draw however many you discard, right? So you're not even really worried. Discard is just an advantage for you. It's wrong, Uh Frantic Search for two and a blue. Draw two cards, then discard two cards. You get to even do that on someone else's turn, so you're going to be drawing four, discard two, really. Untap up to three lands. Also untap three lands. Um, just like an instant that sets you up for casting another instant, basically. Um, all kinds of shenanigans. Anyway, 28 cents. Yeah, it's a uh, draw four, discard two, and then, um, or sorry, draw two, discard two, draw two, and then untap three lands. So just, you can kind of do that and then cast any other instant you want. Uh, 28 cents. Okay, does anyone else look at this and think it looks like Henry Carville if Henry Carville was like not well, like if he was very sick? Anyway, okay, maybe that's a morbid one. Number one, Oscar Rovish Reclaimer. Uh, three, blue, uh, black. So Demir, three, three. Demir is very good at this. This is very much a Demir thing. Uh, the discard is like really up to Mir's alley. So anyway, he's in 1691 decks. For the number one, that is very low. Discard is not a popular theme. People should play it more. I think it's mean, so it's like Infect and Discard are the two probably meanest themes. Uh, I say go for it. I made a rat deck that was both. So it, I think it's maybe you're not gonna, you know, win any popularity contest, but you can win the game. Anyway. His spell costs one less to cast for each different mana value among creatures in your graveyard. Very easy to manipulate this, right? Uh, if you can get a land to your graveyard, that's zero right there. So that's gonna cost one less. And then everything else, getting one, two, three. All kinds of ways to do that, right? Anyway. And keep in mind, this cost reduction does count against commander tax as well. So even if he gets taken out and you have to bring him back, you can probably keep casting it for two, as long as you can load up like five different casting costs. Keep in mind, zero is going to be one, right? Zero, one, two, three, four. And then even your second casting still is going to be two mana for him. Absolutely crazy. And whenever you discard a non-land card, you may cast it from your graveyard. So, so good. Why is it so good? Because of what it does not say. It does not say until end of turn. Usually you would expect that. It does not say that. So just if you discard a non-land card, you can cast it at any point later on. Just any time you feel like, go ahead and do it. Um, this is like, hey, might as well just discard everything. It weighs 35 cents. Okay, so Secrets of the Dead. Two and a blue. Whenever you cast a spell from your graveyard, draw a card. Again, you're, you can just keep anything you discard, cast from your graveyard, no problem. So he's going to keep just drawing, drawing, drawing cards every time you cast a spell. Basically, you've got like two hands. Your graveyard is like your second hand. And uh, yeah, 
just keep your discarded cards separated from your other cards, your regular graveyard cards, and you've got your like two hands to play with basically. And whenever you do the second hand, you're drawing a card for 30 cents. Crazy. Only three CMC, 30 cents. And you're, you're gonna have like, basically everything is like, uh, what do you call it? Um, a cantrip. Anyway, breakthrough, X and blue for 25 cents. Draw four cards, then choose X cards in your hand and discard the rest. So just pay one, right? If you just pay one, draw four cards, discard everything. Then you're just gonna be able to cast a whole bunch from your graveyard. Um, easy enough, right? Anyway, 25 cents as a setup card. That's draw four and goes like straight to your like second hand. Any lands are the problem, right? Your lands are gonna get stuck into the graveyard, um, but not too worried about it. Anyway, Ghostly Pilferer. One and a blue for a 2 1. Whenever it becomes blocked uh, or untapped, you may pay two if you do draw a card. More card draw. Whenever an opponent casts a spell from anywhere other than their hand, draw a card. More card draw. Discard a card. Ghostly Pilferer can be blocked this turn. So, this is just discarding a card anytime you want. You can activate this just over and over and over and over. It's not limited to once per turn. You make them unblockable for the turn one time, but you can just keep discarding, right? Discard, discard, discard. Basically, you fill up your like secondary hand, your graveyard hand, with using him. Uh, it's a little dangerous because like people could exile your graveyard if they've got graveyard hate. That's gonna hit you pretty hard. So maybe don't put all your bags in one. Or eggs in one bat, all your eggs in one basket, all your eggs in one basket. But this can be very sneaky and very useful. Anywho, twenty-five cents again. The list. Here we go. Toulouse, Clever Conductor, 25 cents only. The Raven Man, 40 cents. This is actually a card I recommend in the 99 if you're doing a, a discard deck as well. Asmo, 39 cents. Rael, the Everwise, 115. This is the only one over a dollar. Oscar, Rubbish Reclaimer, 35 cents. Really amazing card for only 35 cents. I actually went to order this online and I, the, the cheapest I could find it was three bucks. So hopefully you can find, in North America it's easier, in Korea they're a bit more, uh, I think, wise to card prices. Anyway, take it easy.